also I wanted to update you guys on that one ticket that I got in Kentucky. It's actually the first time that we're having breakfast together. Can you believe that? Are you still hitting 10K gross weekly as a driver? Let us know. He's parked in a handicapped spot. Big G, come on. What if somebody needs that spot? Kentucky. It's 70 degrees outside. Brothers Transport is on the move. I'm actually just stopped here in Glendale, Kentucky. Petro about to go get some breakfast with Big G Resolutions. He's actually up over there filling up. I got my fuel last night. And I think there's actually another truck behind us that might look like a Brothers truck. Man, I see Brothers trucks everywhere I go now. So let's get right into this video. Also, I wanted to update you guys on that one ticket that I got in Kentucky. Man, oh man, that ticket. I'm going to talk to you guys about that towards the end of the video. But all I can say is we had some really good luck with that ticket. I made a video on it earlier. I had a left lane ticket. And we actually took it to court hoping that they could help us out. And just stay tuned till the end of the video and find out what happened to that ticket. And there's the big G with the nice looking truck fully loaded with a bunch of Fords just like me we got the V position in the trailer to make best height here and here so yeah let's head in there and grab us some breakfast I was thinking that was a brother's truck as well but brothers doesn't put the chrome pieces on the tail lights of the truck and so we're still waiting on my brother here, but Iron Skillet coming in clutch with the new menus. Let's see what we're gonna have here. I don't eat here often. I still waiting on my big brother. Oh, there he is. Good morning. Welcome to the Gen Z G Big G <laughs> Resolution Collaboration Meeting. Today, we're gonna to be discussing how to brush your teeth four hours after you wake up. <laughs> Are you gonna be brushing them behind the table with this water? Yeah, I'm gonna be brushing them with some breakfast. I got some hash browns, eggs. Yeah, I got the chicken stir fry, three sunny side up eggs. Let's get this breakfast going. Let's get this day started. It's actually the first time that we're having breakfast together. Can you believe that? No. I mean, when we were training, we had it yeah. together. But yeah, that was like three years ago. So it's nice to sit down once in a while and have some breakfast together. So what are we going to discuss in today's episode? <laughs> um, are we water. Gonna tell you guys how this recession is going? Well, it's not, it's not too bad not hitting us too bad as as it was hitting other companies are you guys still hitting are you still hitting 10k gross weekly as a driver let us know because we don't know how to do it are you hitting 10k gross nope nope 10k is like out of our window <laughs> because you're hitting higher <laughs> yeah <laughs> well it's so far it's still going good Hopefully, this is my water. Yeah. Really? Hopefully, it picks up a little more here, but it's still going good for us. It's never, it never hurts to have it even higher gross, you know. So I decided to start out this water and lemon life. It's actually worked out great. I don't usually squeeze them, but today I feel like squeezing something, so I'm just squeezing these lemons while I can. Well, it's the healthiest thing that you can do. Lemons really help your metabolism. I used to drink sweet tea every single restaurant. Literally. Every single restaurant I went to, I drank sweet tea. And it showed. I was a big 
hippopotamus. <laughs> so now I kind of toned out. I'm gonna be uh, letting them know about the ticket that I had. Did I tell you about my ticket? Le left lane ticket? Earlier, well, uh, what happened to it? Did I tell you? What, you got a lawyer? Yeah. Did I, I didn't tell you the good news? What, <laughs> got it off your record? I'm supposed. To, I'm gonna let them know at the end of the video, but who did you bribe? But we'll we'll discuss it further in detail at the end of the video. So we got. This is what we carry around with us. Some toothpaste, radiant mint. That's the best trucker <coughs> toothpaste, radiant mint, and my toothbrush. You gotta do it daily, morning, daily, nightly, <laughs> to get. These whites right here. <laughs> uh, I see a yellow one, but the rest looking good. It's probably from the lemon. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll let you know about the ticket here in a little bit. But all I can say for now is it's it's good news. Well, what's there? What else is there to know then? Well, I gotta get into detail and talk about it. So. Yeah. You won't spoil it for me. When breakfast has arrived. We got, we got this load of browns and over easy running eggs. And of course some protein. Some pig. And this is just dessert. <laughs> but this means I'm on a diet. Yeah, I got myself a stir fry, um, rice, chicken, and some well, eggs. Let me show you something. You just puncture these eggs and they run out. This gives you the energy to pull that tie bar. Just try this one day and you'll see. You're going to be tightening those wheels a lot harder and your cars won't fly off. I don't puncture the eggs. I just put them in full and swallow them. Well, not necessary. <laughs> but yeah, let's demolish this breakfast, lunch, and look forward to dinner after we unload. So how, how many meals a day do you usually have? Sometimes one, but most of the time two. I think I, I mostly stick to two meals. One around like 10, 11. And then the next one like at five or six. I used to hate bacon. I used to hate it. I don't know what happened to me. I guess I became a real truck driver and now I don't mind it. I still don't like it. And we're done just like that. No more food. These are the only greens that I don't eat. I'll eat the broccoli, I'll eat the mushrooms, but I don't eat peas. So, finish your bread. Finish your bread, boy. Let's get out there. Let's get to Mount Juliet. We gotta deliver these cars. Refilled with our energy. Yeah, I'm about to grab a Magnum ice cream. Because I'm a sweet tooth. That's why I'm so sweet to everybody. Yeah. Well, so watch my last video. You'll see how sweet I am to everybody. I heard you were wrestling in your last video. Yeah. I heard you were filming it. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe for more. <laughs> yeah, subscribe to my channel. Because apparently Jack said that I never say it in, my, in any of my videos. So this is me saying in Jack's video, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll drop the link down in, in the description below. And this, this guy is, is so about his finances that yeah. he takes pictures of his receipts and then he doesn't take them home. I just fold it up in my wallet. See, look at that. This app here, it's called Simply Wise. See, it puts the name in there, it puts the amount in there, and it puts the date in there. It even puts your tip in there, May 9th business restaurants see look at that perfect picture so simply wise confirm see all those folders big g expenses home expenses groceries restaurants donations fuel vacations you got to take a vacation <laughs> so simply wise it's a little blue app with the leaf on it you store all your receipts you got to pay for it like yearly like if it's personal. thousand bucks a year. Yeah, like something like that. But check it out. <laughs> so we're back out here. I really like our parking skills. I'm parked by the curb. 
I think it said fire lane over there. But I've spent the night here plenty of times, never got kicked out. There actually is no fire hydrant there. And then I love how this guy parked. So he's extra long, just like me. And he's parked in a handicapped spot. Big G, come on. What if somebody needs that spot? There's two handicap spots, one here, one here. And he decides to take one of the handicap spots. Well, definitely does match his color of truck. Blue handicap, blue truck. So, all you can say is he might be a handicap. It's a beautiful truck though. Too bad he's parked in the handicap. Mine's beautiful truck as well. And we got the spikes. Don't get too close or it may hurt. Get out of the handicap spot, Big G. Get out of there. Shouldn't be parked there anyways. All right, so we're back in the truck. We still have another two and a half hours to our destination. Let's check our logbook. How long have we been sitting here? Go to logs today. Man, 53 minute break. Wow. I thought it'd be like 30. We're really running a little bit late. I mean, what are we running for, you know? It's not like we're running late. We'll still make it to the delivery. But 53 minutes for a breakfast date with my brother. We're gaining on him. Let's show you this beautiful truck here. I posted a video telling you guys that I got pulled over and that I got a ticket. I told you what happened. Basically, I was in Kentucky. There was three lanes. Most lanes are allowed in Kentucky except for where it says no trucks allowed left lane. And then whenever you pass that restriction area, it says um, left lane restriction ended. So sometimes you're allowed in the left lane in Kentucky. but. I didn't think of it in this case. So I was driving in the middle lane. There was a truck in the right far lane. There was a truck in the middle lane. And they were both going like 62 miles an hour, just like right next to each other. I was gaining speed on them quick. So I decided I'm gonna hop over quickly, move over and pass them and get back over in the middle lane. So as I was doing that, I passed the restriction sign where it said no trucks left lane and it said trucks must use right two lanes because I was pulling up to a way station. Basically, I hopped over to the left lane at the worst time ever. They actually had cameras there. They saw that I was driving the left lane, even though it was only for 10, maybe 11 seconds that I was in the left lane passing this guy. They still caught me. I switched back over in the middle lane right away and I got a green light from my pre-pass, I didn't have to enter the way station, so I kept going the middle lane. Then, 10 minutes later, I'm looking in my mirror. I got bright red, blue lights on me. So I'm like, oh boy, what's this? That freaked me out, because I didn't know how long he was following me for. I pulled over, told me you were in the left lane. I was like, I kind of even forgot that I went in the left lane at the moment, I was just worried, I'm like, no, I was in the left lane, but I did have to move over to the left lane when there was a police officer blocking the right lane. I was trying to move far over to the left lane. He's like, no, it was before that. He said, no, it was before that, before the weigh scale. And I'm like, oh, wow, wow, I really forgot that. Boss sent me the video, said, yep, you're in the left lane. I was guilty. So at that point, what do I do? I had... I asked my boss for help. He has a CDL legal team 
that he pays monthly for and they do uh, they go to court for him and deal with tickets if he ever gets any so owning a company of 15 trucks obviously not everybody's perfect people run into issues here and there to get tickets so that's why he uses that CDL legal program. He hired them. They found me a lawyer in the area where I got pulled over. The court date was scheduled for a certain day. And we decided to take it to court. Hopefully they knock it down from a left lane violation to something smaller. And I talked to the lawyer. I called him up. I'm like, hey, is there any way you think they can maybe even forgive me for this ticket? I told him I have a perfect record. I've never had any tickets in the last four years or anything like that. So I'm like, I should have a really clean record. And he's like, they might not forgive you because they're really strict on CDL drivers, which is a bummer for us CDL holders. So he's like, let me call the prosecutor in that office because I guess he had his number. He called him, prosecutor said, sure, he has a clean record. We can probably knock it down to a headlight ticket or something like that. So that was already good news for me because the headlight ticket is 20 bucks. It takes the points off of my license. So that was a really big bonus for me. So that's what I was hoping for. Court date came around the corner. He went to court. Uh, apparently, I don't know. Court date came around the corner. He was supposed to show up to the court, but I don't know what he did, but he somehow rescheduled the court date to two months later. And then two months later, I guess the cop didn't show up. They probably felt bad for me, saw that I had a clean record, saw that I'm a good driver, I guess, and they forgave my ticket. I got an email and it said, congratulations, your ticket has been dismissed. Dismissed means no ties to anything. You don't owe the, any money for the ticket. It's not a headlight ticket. It's nothing. It's dismissed. And I was so excited, sent a screenshot to my boss. I said, thank you so much. Um, dismissed, you know. Everybody was telling me, oh, they're not gonna forgive you, they're not like that. Even if you have a good record, you can't just go to court if you're guilty and be forgiven. Well, I'm here to tell you otherwise. Even if you have a ticket and you have a clean record, just take it to court. If it's a point violation ticket and you have, you're gonna get points from it, your company's safety score is gonna suffer from it, take it to court if you have a clean record, obviously. Because sometimes, they'll do this, they'll dismiss the ticket. You just go and plead to them, I'm sorry, yes, I was in the wrong, I'll do better next time, and they'll forgive you, either if it's a headlight ticket or if they just dismiss it. So I'm so grateful for that, I'm happy, as you can see. It's just, I was so worried about that ticket. I didn't want my company safety score ruined, I didn't want to have to pay the ticket. You know, it just, a bummer that I got it, you know. I was totally guilty for it, I'll admit. Yes, I should have been more patient, waited to pass that guy. But sometimes it gets you when you least expect it. So that's my ticket situation. Dismissed. I'm grateful. I'm gonna do my best to stay away from any trouble on the road. But at the end of the day, we're all human. We all run into situations. We have accidents. You can't punish yourself too much for it. The only thing you can do at the end of the day is try better next time, try harder, wake up every day, full motivation, do the best you can, and you'll get rewarded for that at the end of the day. That's my update on the ticket. Thank you all for having remorse for me. In the video that I posted, a lot of you guys were saying, oh, the cop should have just forgave you. Maybe he should have, maybe he shouldn't have. It taught me a valuable lesson, but I'm grateful that it's dismissed. We paid 150 bucks for the lawyer, and actually my company covered that. They didn't ask anything from me for that. I'm gonna have to give a personal thank you for them. They helped me take care of it. I'm grateful for them. I'm thankful for you guys. Thank you for all the support you've been giving me. And yeah, that's it. I'm gonna be in Nashville right now, unloading vehicles. And that's gonna be it for today's video gonna be unloading then I'm probably gonna go to Chattanooga load up some Volkswagens so we're gonna reconnect tomorrow in tomorrow's video I'm gonna try to be a little more consistent and post more videos thank you for all your support we're at three and a half thousand subscribers almost three thousand six hundred thank you guys so much those are incredible numbers you guys are the best 
and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button.